Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back. Thank you all so much for the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and that's amazing. So give yourselves a pat on the back. Now, let's begin. Are you searching for a partner that you can have an emotional, physical, and lasting connection with? Do you feel like you aren't so lucky in your search for love? Maybe you keep finding yourself with the wrong person and stuck in a relationship that causes you more harm than good. If so, here are seven likely reasons why you fall for the wrong person. Hey, psych to goers do you have a habit of leaving work and chores to the last minute? Do you have trouble managing your time? We have a solution for that, thanks to our sponsor, Skillshare. It's a great place where you can learn new things with their online classes, and they have courses on animation as well. Watch this video till the end to find out more. One, portraying yourself as someone you're not. The online world of dating and apps like Tinder and Bumble make it increasingly easy to portray yourself as someone else. You might wanna describe yourself as someone that you're not because you wanna fit in, or maybe your date did that. For example, you might love playing video games, but believe that others won't find this to be an attractive trait. So instead, you switch out your main hobby with something else that you think is more appealing, like going to the gym. Number two, building a fantasy about the other person before even meeting them. When you only have little bits of information about someone through their online dating profile, it can lead you to overthink and hold fast to false ideas in the anticipation of your first meeting. This can result in you forcing your partner to live up to those false ideas, with the only probable conclusion being heartbreak. When looking for the right partner, look at who they really are and don't get so caught up in what you made them up to be. Number three, telling yourself you're unworthy of love. Humans are all very complicated. If you've had a previous bad life experience or relationship, you might be struggling with how you think of yourself. Having a bad self image affects your chances of finding a partner and more importantly, finding the right partner. If you go into a first date with thoughts of, I'm not good looking enough, or I'm just not good enough, no one will like me, then you and your date might struggle to connect properly and things could just fizzle out. Or you might just settle for anyone who happens to like you because you feel like you won't be able to find anyone else. Number four, holding on to standards that are too high. Do you think that you need to find a perfectly matched partner? If you haven't found them yet, do you feel like you never will? Or do you have a partner and your high expectations will be impossible for them to ever reach? For example, you might end up with people who you thought were perfect, but as time goes by, you start to realize that your partner is not as perfect as you wanted them to be. The truth is you'll most likely end up with the wrong people until you lower your extremely high standards. Did you relate to any of the points in the video? What do you think of the animation? Let us know in the comments below. Before we wrap up this video, we wanna mention that we're happy to have Skillshare as a sponsor today because they really promote the idea of a self-made you. Are you planning to learn a new skill? Perhaps on time management, writing, or animation? Are you looking through as many YouTube channels as you can for tutorial tips, but waste a lot of time on some not so helpful ones? It would be great if everything you need is all in one place. Skillshare has thousands of catered courses across all kinds of topics like design, business, tech, and more. There is truly something for everyone. Skillshare has a great intro class on productivity that we really recommend. The course is called Productivity Masterclass, Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity by Ali Abdal. He goes into detail as to why having not enough time is not a good excuse for not accomplishing your work. If any of you are interested in learning how to get more things done in a day, I recommend you go check it out in the link below. The first thousand people will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, and after that, it's only about 10 bucks a month. Let us know what Skillshare courses you're taking in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Number five, you're indiscriminately generous. Generosity and kindness are not bad traits to have, and these are desirable virtues to look for in a partner. But when we let someone take advantage of your kindness over and over and over again, it becomes a problem. According to Valentine, it's normal for toxic people to attach themselves to others when they're given an inch and can then exploit that. There are many relationships where an indiscriminately generous person gets taken advantage of and gets stuck with someone who will only continue taking advantage of them. 
Number six, you try to fix others. Maybe you have a problem with wishing to fix the important people in your life. Maybe it's that you wanna feel needed by others, or maybe it's that you internally wanna make things better for yourself and you hope to fix you by fixing others. Holding on to the desire and belief that you can fix your partner can lead to an unhealthy dynamic between you two that isn't sustainable and isn't fair. And number seven, looking for someone you think you need instead of looking for someone that you want. Do you look for a partner who fulfills all your emotional and physical needs? According to Wong, no one is going to make you feel whole or fulfill all of your needs. When looking for a partner that fills your needs, rather than your wants, it's implied that there will be a degree of dependency and habitual reliance on them. Having someone to rely on is good and important, but if they become more of a security blanket for you, then that's a problem. Constantly needing someone and calling upon them for help can be very suffocating. If you have a partner that you feel you need in order to be happy, the relationship can turn toxic quickly because of the heavy dependence you formed on each other. Do any of these situations sound familiar to you? Let us know in the comments below. And know your worth. Show off your true self and the right person will be attracted to your radiance. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.